Pwede naman sa Kiapo, Kiapo is malaking uh, malaking lugar ang Kiapo. When we say Kiapo as an area. But uh, as we promise and as our uh, to be true to our commitment with regard to protecting heritage, uh, yung remaining uh, heritage of the city, uh, ayoko magkaroon ng bagong photobomber sa isang heritage site. Kasi buti na lang naabutan namin dahil kung hindi, eh, malamang sa hindi may bagong photobomber sa likod ng Quiapo Church. Ano dapat yun? Sa so, uh, eh, kasi uh, Ang unang application, 9. Tapos naging 12. O tapos ngayon gagawin ng 37. Oh, buti na lang, hindi pa napapinalize. Nabigyan ng permit sa 9. Uh, ngayon din yung discussion 12. Pero yung 37, hindi yata katanggap-tanggap yun. Kasi kapag pipicturean mo na yung, yung, uh, yung harapan ng simbahan, harapan, hindi Quezon side, no? harapan, makikita mo magkakaroon ng bagong, bagong photobomber. Eh, eh misan nang misan nang nag-alimpuyo, ang damdami ng tao sa mga photobomber uh, issue. Eh, kami nag-iingat. Uh, at the same time, we are trying to fulfill our commitment in protecting remaining heritage of the city of Manila. And one of those is uh, churches. And this is, uh, we're talking of the Quiapo Church. Condominium po yung dapat na itatay? Hindi ko pa nakita yung technical uh, aspect of it, but I was informed by the stakeholders, which is the community of possibility of uh, something is rising above the limit allowed in the area. That will also uh, create certain uh, uh, unnecessary view. Oh. So what's the limit po ba? The nine uh, depende. floors? No, depende kung anong zoning. Uh, uh, bawat bawat kasi yun, zone, sir. eh dapat talaga yung katamtaman lang. At nine, kung meron man, nine. kung meron man, pwede namin, as a matter of commitment, pwede rin namin baguhin sa Konseho ng Manila yung zoning just to protect the interest of our heritage uh, na remaining sa sitio. Mayor, Ngayon, as kanina, umaga, uh, I was asked. Mayor, to assess na to, after ng pag-ikot nyo, ano na assess na to? Planning na to. Hmm. Sa, yes. Were you yes. dismayed? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, so far, uh, at least, maliwanag sa inyo, maliwanag sa akin, at sa mga bagong mamamahala dito, at sa mamamayang nakapanood, na yung naging concern ng DNR, Uh, it's nothing to do alone with Manila Zoo. It is a property 
beyond the property line. Just so happened that it's a creek adjacent to Manila Sur. So, sino nagko-contribute? Ang tingin ko lang, ano, dahil medyo kabisado ko naman yung Manila, uh, tingin ko doon sa ilog, Manila Sur and neighboring communities and commercial complex. Kasi nakita yung harapan, di ba, Harrison Plaza? Oh, so, this, these things are uh, must be considered in planning just to comply with the requirements of the NR. Sir, seeing all of this, were you dismayed? Ano po ba na... Eh, <laughs> hindi ko na kailangan malungkot dahil kalugmok-lugmok naman talaga eh. Uh, ayoko nang uh, maglulungkot-lungkutan. Uh, one thing for sure, I, I always wanted to know what is the problem. Anong cause ng problema? From there on, acceptance of fault. No? Acceptance of responsibility. What is ours? What is yours? Then, the last step is to be responsibly addressing it in a long term. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Ayan, dyan dyan ang gagaling yun ba? As you can see, no? Ito, part pa ng Manila to. Doon, part ng Harrison. Pero nakikita nyo, galing sa commercial complex, at least we have an evidence. No? That's all the way na yan. Ayan na, kita nyo na. Ayan na yung Mabini. Tapos, hospital ng Maynila at pagitan ng Central Bank. Tapos, diretso na sa ano? Manila Bay. So, ito, as you can see, as you can see, o, pag ano ng tubig. So, uwi siya sa Ross Boulevard. So, kailangan dito pa lang, tama ang DNR. Dapat dito pa lang, may STP na. Para yung paglabas ng tubig, tolerable wastewater na. Clean wastewater. So, anong chance na mabubuksan ito sa public yung Manila? Ah, mamulukin naman. Question lang is when. Kaya ba kayo, sir, yung possibility na mabubuksan? Wala pa, wala pa. Uh, first things first, we have to know the problem. So, yung, ano ba talaga? Uh, matatagalan ka? Opo. Tingin mo, sir, matatagalan ka? Hindi okay. okay. naman. Uh, depende sa amin kung mabagal kami kumilos. Mm -hmm. uh, kaya lang naman bumabagal ang kilos pag may denyan. Kasi when you deny, you keep something hidden. But uh, what is important, ayan, hindi na pwede kubli. May possibility pa, sir, na sure. this year or next year? Well, I hope this year, but I, hindi ako manghihinaya, maghintay na mas ayos to, mapangalagaan muna ang kapaligiran. Mauna ang kapaligiran bago kasiyahan. Sir, nakipagod na yun po ba kayo sa DNR? We will now. After seeing this, after knowing what they have uh, given to the city of Manila as a matter of notice. Ayan. Then from there, waiting na tayo. Ano gagawin na? O plano na tayo. Yun ang... Uh, It doesn't matter. Everybody can participate. Sir, question lang. Uh, sabi niyo po dati na uh, kahit kayo ng mga animal care group. Or yes, baka meron gusto nila i-adapt. Baka meron gusto nila malap. Hindi pa naman. That was, uh, I think, 48 hours ago when I mentioned that. Yeah. So, but uh, it's a... Uh,
doing this interview is also sending Okay, oh, no, wala. Ah, no, 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 no. Use the slaughterhouse.